Sleep is the key to a healthy mind and body, especially for kids and teens, because it plays a big role in growth and development. However, a lot of kids struggle to get a good night's sleep. So this morning we're talking to a pediatrician about when parents should worry about sleep habits. During sleep, the body is at work, supporting healthy brain function and keeping up physical health. But getting those Z's doesn't always come easy. Around 35% of parents reported to the CDC their child sleeps less than what's recommended for their age. Sleep disturbances are really common in kids. Dr. Scott Hadland with Mass General for Children says sleep sets the stage for the kind of day a child will have, affecting school performance and how they engage with others. Those who don't get enough sleep are at increased risk for injuries, obesity, type 2 diabetes, poor mental health, attention and behavioral problems, and poor cognitive development. The key here is to understand when there's an issue. Hadland says there are three reasons parents should seek care for a child's sleep habits. First, if sleep disturbances are persistent, happening multiple times a week for a long period of time. Second, if the sleep issues are leading to daytime problems. Finally, if you suspect a medical problem, for example, heavy snoring or gasping could be a sign of an obstructive sleep apnea. I think the other thing I would say is that if a child does wake up in the middle of the night with some kind of sleep disturbance, it's really important for parents to respond calmly because that will help their child fall back asleep more quickly. Dr. Hadlin also says when it comes to sleep, consistency is key. That means setting a bedtime and a wake up time and keeping it even on the weekends. Also, you've heard this before, but it matters skipping screen time and trying some calming activities like maybe reading or coloring an hour or two before bed can also help kids sleep much better.